No way, what is it, dog? I forgot it's Mother's Day. Hello, didn't get and good. welcome to oh the Strictly goodness. Personal I can't believe I forgot podcast. that. That was on me. That was completely on me. Uh, the plans got in This the was way. actually, like, to... No, never mind. I'm not going to... She'll be so regardless, disappointed. Regardless, we were talking about Mother's Day. Damn, yep. We're good now. Too. We're good now. That was my bad. Forgot to turn up the main. The whenever I turn the board off and turn it back on, the main goes, Oh no, we're 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 gonna turn the slider all the way down. So either way, Mother's Day, just standard stuff happened. So it's a Sunday. Welcome to Strictly Personal. Strictly Personal podcast. Number four. No, maybe number five. No, this is number four. Number four, yeah. So, I thought the one we did yesterday was number four. No, no this was that was number three because we did the first one and that was with everybody. That five-hour monster of a stream that was practically four podcasts in one. And then we did uh, me, John, and Austin doing one. And then we did the one that we did yesterday, which hmm. is probably our best one yet. Yeah. Nice. But, um, nice. Yeah, dude. So, fucking. Definitely coming along. Oh, dude, we're 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 really coming along. Like, honestly, every episode you see, look at the set changed immediately. Yeah, please like and follow for the <laughs> upgraded set that we every already time. have. Like, you know, I know we already had all these. It's already, it's improving by every episode at this rate. So yeah, awesome. dude, it fucking it it better look great, dude. I can't believe my fucking dad had the the studio lights and stuff that we just added just in the closet, just. I was like, Dad, uh, we need some shit. And he was like, oh, yeah, I already had it. I was like, when did, when did you ever get this stuff? Dude, next thing you know, we're going to be like, oh, we, you know, to make this even better, we need, we need this. And your dad's just going to be like, oh, I had like, this, yeah, I I had had this the whole time. Why I wouldn't you? doubt it, dude, because he, he already, I mean, he, he did, like, the sound for bands and stuff like that. That's a, uh, dude, as many years as I've gone with him to go do, like, audio stuff for his band things, I, I've never learned how to actually work all the audio equipment. I have just like moved it and like looked at the board and like, oh, oh, this one has to go up a little bit. This one has to go up a little bit. Hey, Dad, we're looking for soundboard. Like someone who's proficient in a soundboard. Oh, I already have people Me. like that. Like, <laughs> why didn't you just ask? Yeah, we're looking for a location that we could just have the studio. Dude. I already have that. Why didn't you just? <laughs> I mean, fuck. No, he's just you gonna know have he's... everything that Dude. we need. I mean. We, he was talking about it, and he was like, dude, you guys can, like, build a building outside in the backyard and fucking use a whole building for the studio. And That's I was rad. like, And I was like, That'd be sick. We might get around to that. We might get around to that. That would be sick. Well, I mean, with the cost of fucking wood, I mean, <laughs> shit. Good luck. But this has all just been sitting down, like, yeah. where we come in through the door, right? Yes. All of this stuff, because Dad used to uh, do producing for a band i believe and he would do the audio and stuff so all this has just been in that room so we've had all the equipment for years if we ever wanted to do it that's rad oh yeah that's so sick i can't believe that we could have Dude, been established by now we could have podcast hey, for a year we're already on yeah but that would have been like if we did one every week uh, like 52 podcasts already damn that's how many weeks are in a year right I'm pretty sure 52 yeah yeah so Fuck, dude. Dude, if we, when, when, when we get to episode 50 of the podcast, what do you think we're going to be talking about? Because I already know someone's going to bring up anal. Like, that's happening. <laughs> I feel like for an anniversary episode, we oh have to God. bring up anal. No, dude, it's in every episode. It that's, is. <laughs> that's fine. It's, just like it's already corner, in this it's episode. The of, I don't, oh, yeah. You did it, though, Vika, not me. Did what? Oh, yeah, absolutely. At this point, it's just going to fucking happen. But, yes, Austin, that is Daniel. But, um. Which one's Austin? Anna Plant. Anna, Anna Plant? Yeah. Anna Plant? Dude, Austin and Adrian, I, they have to send me the stuff, but they sent, they made, like, music. On, you yeah. said that last time, yep. right? Yeah. So, I got to check that out, and then we got to get that to actually. Who's that? That's, uh, that's uh, Daniel. <laughs> so oh fuck who's the third viewer I, I so it has know. to be it might be me I don't know it has to be Austin and Daniel right y yes <laughs> and then who's the third one 
Tanner's like, oh, dude, three? That's a that's a big number. <laughs> one more than yesterday. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> one more no, we got up to five. Not yesterday. No, yesterday we was just two. Yesterday we were at one and, like, two, and that was Kabir and Austin. Ah. Uh. And that was oh, they were playing well, their... At least they're staying loyal. That's cool. Yeah. That's true. We need loyal followers. Yeah, we like appreciate that. the loyalty. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, fuck. 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 <laughs> what? Austin, get back on. <laughs> get your ass back here. Where are you going? We so, only just started. Have you guys ever ridden a horse? You know what? I actually haven't. You haven't? No. What I've gone you? to horse shows. Not a metal horse. Not like a motor horse. No, real horse. Yes. You have? Um, when was it? I've never heard this. Was it like just a small thing? or? Wait, what's chat saying? <laughs> I don't... I think that's really cool. I've never looked at that until just now. I think what, that's kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I rode a horse. Um, a really traumatic experience, actually. Really? Uh, yeah, it was... My older brother, my mom, and my two stepbrothers, we were in, uh, we went over to White Pass. Yeah. My mom has a family friend that lives over there that she went to school with, and he has a really cool cabin, like right next to some river, and we go camp there. And, yeah, we decided to go horseback riding on, like, the last day. Um... Fuck. Just and out of nowhere? You you're kinda, just... Well, it was, my mom loves horses. Oh, okay. So, like, my okay. mom's always had a thing for horses, and so, like, that was kind of a special thing for her. Uh, but I, we went to go ride horses. Yeah. At, we went to some ranch, and, like, we rode horses, like, in these trails on the hillside. Like, you were fucking tearing up the trails? No. Oh, you like, were, you're galloping, at, you were just walking no, the horse? No, they, like, we you were got off to, it holding the little thing? We got to, well, no, you had to. You had to, like, go to the stable, and they would, like, they, something about, like, your weight and, like, your height, and they, like, matched you with a horse. Yeah. But I got a horse that I felt like was really small for me, <laughs> but I guess it was a long time ago, so I probably only weighed, like, I'm picturing uh, you riding the smallest the, the horse. Smallest the smallest The miniatures. Horse, <laughs> yeah, like, my feet are just on the ground, too. Dragging. <laughs> you're like, this sucks. <laughs> um, like, no, it's the it's kitty ride. <laughs> just, it was, it was actually, like, a, re- it was a pretty interesting experience. Horses really freak. Horses kind of freak me out, but uh, dude, they're they're pretty dangerous. Well, they're like, smart. They're smart. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we we picked our we picked our horses. And no, Daniel, we do not have any mods or alerts at the moment. We have just started. I have to get it all set up. What does that mean? So anyone who can like mod the chat or like put alerts in, I don't know what the alerts specifically he's talking about, but. Oh, for like followers and maybe. Stuff. Oh like yeah, yeah. We don't have any of that at the yeah. moment. I got. I'm I'm still getting everything all. Squared away. Working out the kinks. Yeah. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I no, you're go. fine. Uh, I think, well, like, one of the, you know, we were riding around. We had to ride through, like, a river. And I felt really bad for my horse because it kept, like, we'd ride. And then we'd, like, there was, like, two groups. And we'd wait for the other group to meet up. And, like, my horse, we'd just be, like, sitting there. And the horse would kind of hang out. And it would, like, turn turn mm-hmm. around and, like, look around. Yeah. And I was like, hey, what's up, guy? What are we what are we doing? You know? And I was like, hey, let's go back over here. <laughs> come on, and he was just come like, on. No, no, no. And then just went off into some grass and started eating. He didn't fucking respect you, dude. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and the lady was like, Yeah, come on, you just gotta you just give it a little firm. You know, yeah, like, Shomu's boss. I was like firm 12. Grass with it. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm not gonna r- fucking yank the horse. Yank on the reins of the horse, you know? The thing's like kick your ass. Pounds. Dude. Yeah. And so I remember, like, later on through the trail, I would, like, rip, like, we'd go through brush. Yeah. And I would try to, like, grab stuff off, like, tree branches. Oh, as to, you like, were going? It? Yeah, and I was like, here you go, horsey. <laughs> like, I was trying to, <laughs> Just and, random shit. And, like, it did not like that. And, I like, the second or third time I tried it, the one time I, like, leaned over to grab something, and it got, it got, it was pretty pissed off about that. But then, like, the last time I did it, it, like... It like bucked up. It was like, bit. all right, all right, we're done. Like, we're done. It like, it like kicked his back legs off the ground for a second. It really stressed me out. But like the best part and craziest part is my fucking, uh, I don't remember if it was my brother or one of my stepbrothers rode over a bee's nest. Oh, fuck. In the, in the trail. 
Yeah, and I was at the very... Was it just chasing him the whole time? I don't remember. It was at the very... It was so, I'm, there had to have been, like, the navigator, and then I think it was, like, maybe my stepdad or something, and then, uh, like, my stepbrothers and older brother, and I think my mom and I were just at the back, yeah. and there was, like, somebody behind us that would follow, and, like, there was just fucking pandemonium up ahead in the trail. Just people, like, yelling, just like, oh, shit. And just, like, horses, like, <laughs> that classic horse noise, yeah. like, yeah, you know, and, like, horses just running through the bushes. <laughs> We're just like, what the fuck? And so the lady's like, okay, hold on. And she goes up there. And then she comes booking it back, and she's like, turn around, turn around. There's a bee's nest, bee's <laughs> Run. nest. And we're just like, what the fuck? And so my horse is just like, I like unresponsive at this point. Yeah. He's just it's like, like, he's like, like it. this guy's going to get so fucked. It just keeps, <laughs> keeps going You're toward, like, no. towards the bee's nest. And I was like, no, God, please, no. <laughs> Stop. No. Um, thankfully, one of the, the, the lady who was ahead, she like came back around and like got me squared away before my horse just like suicided you into this fucking bees straight into, into the, the bees. fucking bees nest dude i never really saw him you could hear him flying around yeah but like that was they were just, just all pissed off oh yeah oh yeah but that was just yeah, kind of you fucking run over their hive they're like oh dude you're dead <laughs> i'm getting you <laughs> like you know, actually this reminds me of another funny story but but yeah that was my horse ride horseback riding experience i i'm i'm good on on the horseback riding yeah like i'm solid like did like, like the rider or the horse get stung a bunch? Like not my dude, horse. Dude, the horse don't give a fuck. No, I meant the horse that stepped in it. Like, uh, uh, I think so, but like, I think I don't really. I'm sure. I'm, I bet you my mom remembers a lot better than I do. So, excuse me, I wasn't really having the best time because my horse. I was stressed. It out. It wasn't listening to you. So. I was fucking stressed out, dude. Like. <laughs> And there, I feel like there was another point too, like right where I got on, he was like trying to rub up against the, he was like trying to rub up against the fence. Yeah. I was like, hey man, like we can't be, <laughs> we can't be doing that, you know? And he just was like, <laughs> you're going to snap my leg. And I was like, dude, she, and she, I feel like the ladies were just like, oh boy, <laughs> here we go. I wish I could remember the horse's name. They always have fucking rad names. Alfred. <laughs> or yeah, they always have like good human names or just. Something that's related to being fast or I don't something. Know, yeah, like <laughs> Bolt. Bolt, the horse. Yeah, he's Bolt because he's won many races. Um, Austin, are you still in the? Are you still here? Well, Austin said he's just going to turn on in the background. Oh, but he, he's still going to be here. There's a really funny story from when him and I. Oh yeah. Would oh this God. reminded me of that too? We would we would play airsoft a long time ago at my dad's house. Yeah. And um, sorry, I was just still looking to see if you popped up, but um, we had a couple other friends in the neighborhood, um, and they had. Uh, I don't want to say it was like a. Like an estate, mm-hmm. but I mean they just had so much, so many space. Yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, it is that story. But there was their house, the street, um, they had a really t- steep hill down to their house. And there was, like, big trees and rhododendrons and stuff like that. And we made trails. We blitzed trails through there every summer. And we'd play airsoft and run around through there. But I think that day, it was myself and Austin – I'm pretty sure my older brother was there, and maybe another neighbor kid was there, and we were trying to, like, organize some ambush for the people that lived in the house. Cause oh, it, okay. Because they'd, like, be in on it, too, sometimes. Oh, okay. You, it wasn't just some random family. <laughs> no, just like, no, no, no. Like, we're going to no, fuck these people up no, so they <laughs> wearing had, masks. They had kids like... that were our age also, but, like, they would, you know, like, we'd go move around, we'd go cruise around through the through the woods in front of their house and, and like make forts and stuff like that. And they'd come out. Yeah. And sometimes they'd come out guns blazing also every once in a while. But mm-hmm. so yeah, we, we hatched this idea. Cause I think we were, we would always talk to him on the phone 
And they were like, yeah, we'll be back in like, we'll be back in like an hour or something like that. And mm-hmm. we'd wait. We'd You're like, like all we'd, right, we know what we're doing. We'd wait like 40 minutes and then we'd go put all our stuff on and then go find a spot in the bushes and stake out for a while. And uh, I remember, yeah, we, it had to have been just like a scene out of Call of Duty <clears throat> to where we were like in my garage. Yeah. Just like loading it like loading everything like, up like strap but it would like but back then it was just like camouflage pants <laughs> and like a jacket like a button one yeah and like that was pretty much it that was the whole setup but it felt like that you know it felt like you're oh yeah in your imagination you're like dude i'm like, i'm so fucking cool the long cut scene you have a big like uh like shepherd's monologue at mom warfare 2 like, yeah at like, the start like america is the greatest country yeah, in the world. Exactly. Like, like i'm gonna defend my fucking country <laughs> like they called upon me to serve <laughs> uh but uh yeah so we like we we sneak down there and we're we're moving around in the in the bushes trying to find like a good vantage point and i don't remember if I think it had to just been me, Austin, and my older brother. But I remember kind of discussing where we were all going to sit. Mm-hmm. And we agreed to, like, split up kind of and just, like, occupy the whole hillside. And I I don't know how Austin ended up where he did. I know from where him and I were at, we were relatively close to each other, maybe about 20 feet away. Yeah. But it was open, and you could see straight down their hill into like their garage to mm-hmm. where they where they would turn the corner and come up the driveway. Okay, we yeah. would see down on them, and they would they wouldn't be able to see up. Yeah, at us, and so we could shoot down at them. Um, it sounds so fucking bad. <laughs> God, uh, no, that's tactical advantage, dude. Uh, yeah, but at your neighbor's house, fuck them <laughs> in your neighborhood. Like, come on. Ever, you know, someone uh, drives by, they see a bunch yeah, of dude, people with stuff like, on, them, like you, guns. Could like, you imagine what like the old people in the neighborhood must have felt when it was like they would just be like, "Oh, cool." They look outside the window, go to the store, and then it's just like, boom! <laughs> this kid jumps out of the hedge, just <laughs> head to toe, just sprinting. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, and then you're gonna go it, check d- the mail. If you had, oh God! <laughs> did you yeah, did you dude. have your ghillie suit at that point? I don't. So so, uh, so if you did like just imagine the dude see a, the bush get up and like fucking I don't I don't know if I had that or not yeah. if I did I definitely wasn't wearing it oh dude uh, it was because it was it was daytime yeah or it was it was evening like dusk mm-hmm. and um, yeah so we we figure out kind of where we're gonna sit at and we just kind of lay down. Or we're just kind of sitting there in the bushes and, like, mm-hmm. it's quiet. Yeah. Right? I mean, like, we're just kind of waiting to hear the sound of the car. Yeah. Um, Tanner, you're the story, man. I'll, I'll pay attention to the comments. I'll pay attention to the comments. Wait, Austin, that might have been when my leg was broken that we put that on. Well, anyway, anyway. Um, at least... Yeah, so we were sitting, we we hunkered down finally, and then we were just, we were sitting there waiting, 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 and uh, I remember just kind of looking around, and then, <laughs> dude, like a pin drop, it was yeah. just like, oh, fuck, <laughs> ow, <laughs> and I was just like, what? Yeah. Like, nothing happened, like, what is happening? Yeah. <laughs> And then just, oh, fuck my balls <laughs> or something like that, dude. And so then uh, Austin just – Austin jumps up and, like, branches are breaking. <laughs> and he's just storming through the fucking bushes. And he's just like, fuck this. This is fucking <laughs> stupid. Fuck. And I remember, like, going back. I think he started – I think he just started walking back to my house. Yeah. And uh, I think my older brother was there, and I, I was like, uh, I don't know what just happened. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on. And, like, we finally touch base. We meet up with Austin, and he's like, dude, there's fucking hornets stung my sack. God damn, Or dude. bit. I don't know if they, I don't know. Either way, not a fucking. Whatever. I mean. Just as bad, either it way. It just hurts. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of pain. And, and um, God, I remember just being so I didn't know how to register that. Yeah. I was like, what? 
<laughs> are you like really? What? Are are you sure? Like we all just like walked Wait. through the same area yeah. and we were like moving around. They just picked Austin. Like how the fuck did that happen to you? And um Yeah, like I we went back to my house. I remember he was in a lot of pain, a lot of pain, and I think we were in my basement. Fuck, I would be too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, I don't really remember what happened much after that, but I think my brother, I think he was laughing, and then he was just like, fuck this, I'm going home. He bailed, and then... Um, <laughs> He was like, I don't give a fuck about uh, you. Oh, yeah, he was like, I'm over this. Like, this is <laughs> fucking stupid. Um, fuck, I can't really remember what happened after that. He ended up going home, and I felt really bad. Yeah. I was like, dude, you can stay if you want, but I totally He's like, no, wanting dude. Wanting to bail. Like, I would ice my sack in a heartbeat, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like, after getting bit in the bag by a fucking hornet. No, no way. <laughs> fuck, dude. But, uh, yeah, we used to do that shit all the time, dude. All the fucking time. Yeah. I can't believe we got away with some of the stuff that we did. Dude, uh, yeah. A lot of stuff that fucking, that happened as kids. Yeah, it's fucking crazy what kind of shit you get away with (laughs) as a child. Yeah. You get, like, free reign, dude. I would go back in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. Just go back a little bit. In a heartbeat. Be all, with the same mind. Oh, it'd be over, dude. It'd be over. <laughs> Just be airsofting and fucked around all day. Oh, dude. It'd be... Oh. Like, oh. The one thing I regret about that phase, being that young... Yeah. I think, I think Halo 3 kind of did me dirty for a while. And there's, like, time... I vividly remember, like, Chip... And other people would like go down to the lake, and it was like four o'clock in the afternoon on, in the summertime, mm-hmm. just eighty-five degrees and sunny. You know, I was like, no, I gotta beat Halo Three on Legendary or something. Or like, I was, I was like, I was, I think I was really into like foraging. Yeah. And I would like all I would do is just put, all I would do is just like put guns on the ground and like. And then look at it. And like a line. Yeah. Like make it look cool. You're like, all right, that's nice. Like if there was like 20 people here and like, if it was like high ground, I think was like the perfect one. Yeah. Like I would put the barriers, I'd put like this, the, the Jersey barriers on top to like, mm-hmm. for more, more cover. cover. And I was like, hell yeah. If it was like, if it was like 12 V2. Yeah. Just like cool. simulating there battles like in no, your head. There's like no, no <laughs> chance at all. Like they'll never get off the beach. Yeah. From here because there's. Two, There's do, like 50 snipers. The game starts. It's like beep yeah, on like the beach. You, they're like run up. What the fuck? Yeah. There's no. They're like the way that I, I had everything blocked off. Like I want to. I wish I saved like a bunch of the maps that I made as a child, cause or as younger, cause all of it was just like it's just like shit thrown around kind of, and like I didn't use like the glitches to make stuff like float or. Anything like that. Make so like everything would like lean on stuff and then it, you'd get close to it and you'd go and it yeah. move down and you're like, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I there's like two maps that I actually put some effort into to make mm. like kind of fucking cool. And it was like Zanzibar town. I called it Zanzibar town mm-hmm. and uh, the that was city. A good map too. The city. Well, yeah. And I fucking just edited those to like put, put like crates in like corners. I was like ch- chairs and shit. I was yeah. like, this is cool. Yeah, this I'd put like cool. cones and stuff down. Yeah. Like, oh, dude. You have to go slow through here to look at the cones. Dude, and then so sick. and then after you ran out of so all sick. the ideas that you were doing and you still had like seven hundred dollars budget, you're like, all right, I'm gonna go into the water over there. I'm gonna make like a secret. I'm gonna take the big crates, make a square that doesn't even like it's not even level at all. All the boxes are like fucking fucked up, and then I'm gonna pe- put a tank over there. <laughs> and then it's like nobody will that's know. That's the secret secret. No one <laughs> will see it. Like they need the teleporter to go over there. And it's like, no, bro. You you spawn on the map. You look over there in the ocean. It's like huge boxes. You yeah. see the tank turret fucking sticking up like this. It's not discreet <laughs> And at you're all. just like, oh, I'm going over there first. There's a no, tank. no, no, no. No, go to the other. Go to the yeah, city. Yeah, no, check this other spot out. Check dude, it. look how much effort I put into leading this assault rifle up onto the wall. <laughs> yeah, dude. At like a fucked up angle. <laughs> it's like <laughs> straight, like it, you'd trip on it. Yeah. Like, I think, dude. My best, one of my best memories of Halo 3, I think, was playing 
for some reason, I don't remember playing as much Halo 3 with you, I think, as I played with, like, Adrian and Austin. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember if that's because if you were really into Call of Duty at the time. Because no. I remember I was... When Halo 3 originally came out, like, that's all I played. Like, I had the first Modern Warfare, but I only played the story. Yeah. I never played I never, online. I never even owned the first Modern Warfare. I wonder if it was Modern Warfare 2, maybe. Modern Warfare 2, when that came out, I was definitely in it. But when Halo 3 was out, I played a lot of, like... I don't remember if Party Chat was a thing. Or maybe you were just, like, in the competitive. I was in like the competitive. Ranked. I never played. I played ranked all the time. I yeah, I never played that. Because I was like, I need the achievements. Yeah. Dude... This fucking... I'm going to bring this up every time I talk about achievements in Halo 3. The Katana, you know how you got to get a thousand fucking gamer score, which, would, which when the game launched, was all the achievements. Yeah. So, I go through the whole process. I'm fucking... This is 2008, so I'm 13 years old. Yeah. 13 years old, 14 years old. Either way, go through the whole process. Last achievement, two for one. Two Spartan Laser kills in a free-for-all match on ranked online... Or online. And no, not in, ranked. Not, not ranked. No. Just social. No. Are you sure? I'm positive. I, that's the. What's the other hard one? There's Step and Razor. There was. Uh, so that's the one. That's. I think that's the one with an overkill with a sword. On free for all. I think. Lone Wolves. Yeah. Oh, it, it was in Lone Wolves. I got that that's one. That's what it was. It was Lone Wolf, <clears throat> which is ranked. I don't think I ever got the two for one. Dude, that was my last one. And so I remember vividly how this fucking achievement happened because I was upstairs and I was, I was playing it in the living room. I think I had it hooked up in the living room. And I was sitting there on my crisscross fucking applesauce just doing shit. Hell yeah. And Still I was like, to this day. I was in it because I was oh, fucking. Cause it's all about position when the you're worst seriously part- gaming. Oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. That was like power, power position. Yeah, power position, dude. So the, so, um, the thing that sucked is that Lone Wolves. It didn't ha- It only had six people, so you practically had to kill a third of the lobby with a, a one Spartan laser shot on like relatively big map because it's Halo Three. So like, you have to get it perfectly. Yeah. So I grabbed the Spartan laser. And the only map you can do it on is Snowbound. Snowbound. Uh, d- d- I don't know if they they didn't do Lone Wolves on high ground. I don't think. Pit didn't have it. It was like I don't remember. That was a wa- a long time ago, but I I, I definitely did it on Snowbound. I think Guardian had it. No, they had Guardian had rockets. Yeah, Guardian didn't have it. Um, God, was Snowbound the only map you could do it on with a Spartan laser? I I think so, but it, it just depend. I can't remember what was in the playlist, like what maps would rotate in those that had the Spartan laser. And I don't think. Um, Uh, Forge Foundry. Foundry wasn't a Foundry wasn't out yet. I don't no, think. No, that no, no. This is before map packs or anything yeah, like yeah, that yeah. happened. So, um, yeah. So it was Snowbound. I remember like this was the last achievement. I've already gotten all the other ones. Like yeah. I got the fucking like, it was like a triple kill or like a multi like a couple triple kills in once. I don't remember the achievement, but I did that on the pit. Triple kill on, was one of on them. King of the Hill on Lone Wolves. So you. Ugh, Fucking, I can't, they put a lot of the, the hard ones on Lone Wolves, which fucking free-for-all with six people to get, like, triple kills it's and tough. stuff is ridiculous. Yeah, Your like, timing had to be. Yeah, the only way to get step, step and Razor was to play swords on any map, obviously, because everyone would go and, just psh, 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 and fucking clash and shit. Yeah. But, so then I was reading online, I was like, how the fuck do you get a uh, two-for-one achievement. I was looking at how people did it, and they were like, okay, I just waited for someone to jack a ghost on Snowbound, and then I would blast them. So I was like, all right, so I'm, I'm going to try that, and I tried it a couple times. I was on the last shot of my Spartan laser. You know, the in the middle of the map, there's the big shield door, Yeah. and then it goes into the little cave with the two paths, like the three paths, the one mm-hmm. up the middle, and then the two on the sides. Mm-hmm. So, um, fucking... So I was charging it up. I wasn't even trying. I was like, fuck it. I'm on my last shot. I'm not going to get it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to charge this bitch up. Started charging it. I saw one dude start going up the ramp. What was it? I, the right side tube from the shield door. I was charging, and I, I was shooting at one guy that was c- 
coming. I don't remember if it was the guy. Yeah, it was. It was the guy coming from that the right building mm. in down to the tube. And I saw him, and I was just charging it to get ready. And I was pre-firing it. I moved, and I shot. And some dude, right when I shot, this elite came up, and like his foot got hit, or I went straight through the back of this guy and into the foot of the one guy that I was aiming at. And I got the two for one. I stood up. And I ran to because my cousin lived here, uh, and That's he was so and he was in the shower. And I was like, Chris, Chris, oh my god, I got it, I got it, I got it. Like, dude, getting the katana, fucking, oh, dude, yeah, that's so crowning sick. achievement. But then, map packs. Week later, map, map packs added the achievements, and then you just need to get a thousand gamer score. I was like, fuck. That's how I got oh, it, dude. Piss me off. Five gamer score short, baby. You have no idea. That's the only reason I played ranked on Lone Wolves. I was like, give me the katana. That's Fuck so, me, dude. That's so funny. I fucking... Uh. Yeah, I loved... I don't... Like, like I said earlier, I don't really remember playing Halo 3 so much with you as much as I do remember oh, okay. playing it with Adrian and Austin. And, like, they would... Adrian... Adrian... Oh, you already saw that, but yeah. You, they'd come up... You know, we'd play we'd play a lot of infection in just oh, like dude. random ass maps. Oh, do you remember that, we, that time? We'd find remember that time when we played like four player split screen at like I don't remember if it was Nicoa's house or something, and we just turned on Blow Me Away on the, the media player of my Xbox and we were playing Infection on high ground and it was just four players and it was me, you, Nicoa. And like his brothers would rotate out. I think so. And we just played Infection with that and we put it on like 10 rounds and it was just like constant loop of blow me away yeah, <laughs> that sounds, yeah. the whole time I'm, I'm pretty sure that was that was at his old lake city house yeah for like for like an hour we fucking did that yeah, shit that shit didn't get it old was, it was fucking it what did not did, get old didn't get old at all no nah, dude by the end we're all dude oh fucking custom infection sweet what are you saying I'm, I'm sorry unfortunately i never played halo 3 whenever, i know whenever it like was a thing whenever it was super popular God damn whenever it, it first came out i was more of a call of duty person like i i just that's what i was into so yeah. i played call of duty 4 and what a bitch bro <laughs> what a fucking traitor why are you on this podcast <laughs> i'm just kidding i mean it just is what it is no though. i know i'm just kidding <laughs> no I don't. but well yeah you came on on reach i think yeah oh, yeah God. i did play so I, fucking good too was, i played a lot of reach good. The, yeah. But then, right, I remember right before I hit level 40, which is what I wanted because I wanted the Gungan ear. Right before I hit level 40, it switched up again. It went to like, was it Halo 4 after that? Mm. What? After Reach? Yeah. After Reach. Yeah. Either that yeah. or some other game came out and nobody played mm-hmm. Halo Reach anymore. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to fucking. Yeah, I remember on. we played Halo 4 for a minute because it was Halo 4. And then I it just died off. It was like, you know, what's funny is I've been trying to replay that. Like I get home from work, yeah, or in the morning, like I'd play for like an hour, and I've been I finally got to Halo Four, and that God, that game sucks. It does. I hate I, that game. I agree, dude. I, I don't even Halo on Star. Master Chief Collection. I don't even have it downloaded. I fucking hate halo 4 so much it really does not it was a really big bummer yeah actually no well i don't know it's gonna change the subject but i was playing halo 2 yeah i'm playing through all of them my favorite game of course past couple weeks i've been playing through all of them sweet uh it's like a that's like a requirement to be on the podcast right weekly halo (laughs) uh Playing Halo Three after beating Halo Two and playing Halo Three. Oh, we need we need Austin. Uh, we need a bot that says like Halo Two is the best game ever or something like that. Just for if you do something, I don't remember, like best game or something like that. Oh my god. So man. just just keep that in mind. Just. Oh my god, we have five viewers. And they would be, okay, we should talk about something else. No, Austin said, "Give me two. Oh, dude, he's about to make the oh bot because we have a bot. Serious. Austin like coded a bot. It's called the Debrud- Debruda bot, and it fucking you can put in little commands and then. Uh, it'll come up. I don't Austin fucking coded it. So if you say who or like that, it'll say who's on the podcast. That's fucking cool. It's fucking sweet. But regard, I'm. I, I'm gonna get distracted. Anyway. Yeah. So 
I feel like Halo Two actually has a couple plot holes in the story. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's. I'm I'm here for it. Oh boy, I don't know the story that. I don't know. I'm really, ready. I'm I ready. Know, I don't really think I want to get into the, get into this that much, but when Master Chief kills the Prophet of Regret, Mercy. Oh, at, oh, later. Well, he doesn't kill him. The well, he dies from the flood. Yeah. True or regret? Yeah, regret. No, 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 no. Mer- so mercy dies by the flood, yeah. and regret gets punched in the face. Right, every time. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> shoot him, man. Like every, t- I have never seen anybody else actually like fight him. No, everybody just beelines and hijacks the. That, uh, that's, hey, that's the best way to do. I, it used to be like that that playground myth. I was like, oh, dude, you can get in the chair, and someone would be like, yeah. Like, right before the cutscene started, I was able to get in the chair and fly around for, like, a half a second. I was like, oh, shit, how do I do that? How do I do that? How do I do ah, that? I feel like I remember that. But, yeah, go ahead. Anyway, so, yeah, you kill him, and then in, like, the cutscene, or not, the, just, like, where you're... I fuck with that, where you Where you're going, where you're going from one tower to the other underwater. That's regret. Yeah, they talk about how, like, that fleet was smaller yes. than... The other fleet from Reach. Don't they say that in when they're invading Earth? Y- yeah, but I thought they. I th- I think it's because like High Charity pops up. Oh, maybe maybe she makes a comment about never seeing a fleet that big before. Yes, that's what it is. That's but, what happens after in the cutscene after you kill Regret. But everybody's showing up like they're gonna they were gonna kill him anyway. Oh yeah, they they truth was like fu- we're we're practically gonna kill Regret because right. Regret is going too zealous. Because he went to Earth. Well, yeah, he was like, "We're, we're, I got to get this great journey like going." Right, right. And then right. he he came to Earth early, and then fucked off to Delta Halo through the portal. Through the portal, or he 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 slipped space, jumped inside the city. Right. So I never really understood that, <clears throat> and I think I still don't. But like, the you he you kill you kill regret, and then Grave Mind grabs you. Yes. And so. So. Oh, one cool thing that I saw when me and Adrian were climbing the mountains outside of Delta Halo, you can see, you know, the wall that you land at that TARDIS drops the Arbiter off on Sacred Icon? Yes. It's right there. On, like, the other side. Like, you could look across, if you go up that big mountain. You can see it. You can look straight across the lake, and the big wall for Quarantine Zone is over there. Like that's where the library. That's how is at. the grave mine can has a tentacle that far. It's because it's right there. Interesting. I, I didn't did know not, that I until didn't know recently. That that's cool. So that's that, I always wondered how like I was like okay I guess grave mine can just grab from the the lake is connected to something and like he's just really far away. Huge. Yeah, and I was right. like because when the arbiter I was like how did that that seems really far away but it's like right there which is super cool to me. Interesting. I did not know that, but. I also we did go on a fucking hike. Dude, dude, me and Adrian were at that for like an, like two hours. Oh, that's cool. It was a long that's time. Fine. There's a lot of out of the bounds fucking map, but I'm sorry. I keep no, cutting you off. It's fine. I think it's, I, I also, I kind of wish they made a bigger deal about when you go back to Installation 04 as the Arbiter. Yeah. I don't think they mentioned that at all. I mean, you see the well, ring is destroyed. Well, you didn't go to Installation 04. You're on the mining thing for that gas giant right next to it. But it's still like in orbit. It's yeah, it's destroyed. right next to it. Yeah. Oh, but it's not on. No, that's not the mission. Does not take place on Delta on uh, Installation Zero Four. How? Why are the flood there then? Because Installation Zero Four, when it blew up, uh, st- stuff like flew over there and it landed in on the the station. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. I always was kind of curious about that, but anyway, so I think it's so the yeah you kill regret, grave mine grabs you. Yeah. Tartarus betrays the Arbiter, mm-hmm. shoots him down the hole with the hammer. Yeah. And then he has both of them, right? And then he has he, uh, Arbiter, Miranda and Johnson. Yeah. Or, or Grave no, Mine. Grave Mine. Grave Mine oh, has yeah, Arbiter yeah. and Master Chief. And so that's when they they're he's holding <clears> them, and he shows the Arbiter that the Great Journey was... Is the same thing as... Suicide. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because he pulls up regret, regret as a tentacle and, like, the, the, the monitor of... Right. Penitent tangent, but they don't they don't talk to each other at all. Who? Master Chief and Arbor, he's just like, hey, you go check here for the key. You go check here. Well, Master, so for the icon. So when Arbiter and they get pulled up, Master Chief wakes up and then Cortana's like, "What is that?" Yeah, and yeah. And then he says the shit, and then but they're like, "Blah blah blah." And then the Arbiter gets pulled in, and he's like, "Demon." Yeah, the, the, but they don't like. There's no communication 
when he's like, you're going to go search this area, and you're going to go search this area, and then he just fucking... Flips them and teleports? Yeah. Yeah. But my question, like, what I was thinking about, and if, if this doesn't make sense, please tell me, but, like... No. He sends Master Chief to high, to charity. high charity. Yeah. Where regret is leaving high charity. Truth. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Truth is getting ready to leave high yeah. charity with the sacred icon. Well, there and yeah. Miranda and Johnson to go down to. Yeah. Installation. They were just five. on the. They're practically news for high charity, and we're like, we have the icon. We're gonna go down and fucking activate it. Right. So if. If truth was gonna go to go to Earth anyway, yes, and find the Ark anyway, then what was the point of fighting Tartarus on Installation Zero Five as the Arbiter to to stop that Halo from activating? So truth went to Earth. Tartarus went to activate Halo Five or uh, Halo Five Delta Halo. Right. He went to activate the new game from like sixteen years <laughs> in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just the what's the point of doing that if you if Truth was just going to go to the Ark and fire all of them anyway in Halo Three to keep up appearances. What do you mean? You know how the whole Covenant is super religious, right? Right. So Truth is not. Truth knows what the shit does, but he just wants to. He's a manipulator that has. He knows what that the humans are supposed to be the ones that inherit the forerunner stuff. He knows the truth, the actual truth of shit. Okay. But he fucking he, he manipulates the entire covenant to keep him under his thing. So he leaves to go to the ark, which is the only safe place from the halo rings firing. And Tartarus, except for the one that's built in the middle of it. Well, that one from Halo 3 that So in Halo 3, the ark just makes replacements. Right, right, right. So that one was just going to go f- be sip, slip space to where Installation Zero 04 was. Oh, okay, okay. So that's why, so Truth was going to the Ark, which is the only safe haven from an actual Halo firing. But the, f- were the Flood <clears throat> loose on the Ark? The no. Flood? No, they came from High Charity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, right, High right. Charity but, flew in and fucked it up. So I was, well, anyway, I guess just the, the point. I feel, I, f- I felt like that whole scene with the Arbiter. Yeah was kind of pointless because at the end yeah because like if, if you like what was the point of really f- or like why didn't they why didn't they send master chief to go f- after and i know those i know both those events are like happening simultaneously yeah. right I, I get that but like i don't understand <clears throat> why after he gets off a of high charity instead of going into the ship to go back to earth why not just go down to delta halo and then Master Chief? Yeah. Because he's trying to kill Truth, who is the head head leader. So he that's why he goes, he's like, I'm chasing Truth. Uh, yeah, no, I get that. I, and I, then the Arbiter, the reason why he's fighting Tartarus, well, because he got sent to doing Uprising and stuff like that from the Grave Mine, and he sent him to do that, is to see what the Brutes are doing and see, like, the truth of, like, how... The rings are the, like the tr- prophet has been fucking with him because if he yeah. sent him to high charity, he would just see high charity like he wouldn't like because you immediately start uprising. Elites are fucking dead. Yeah, right, like right, right. brutes have fucking I hate murdered that. I hate that mission. elites. You know that elite that's laying down with the sword that you think is dead. His mouth actually moves. I always wondered where. Yeah, because there, there's a guy that talks. Yeah, and then he dies. I never. No, he he's just he, he's just a body. Well, yeah, he. I guess technically he would do that, but like that body, I never knew it was that body that's talking. The one, yeah. That one with the sword, and if you look at the model, it'll talk, and it'll be all like, "The elites have killed our brothers off it," or something like that. Yeah, he says something, and yeah. I I never knew. I was like, "Is the arbiter talking right now?" Like, but yeah. So that's that's why those things happen. Hmm. What do we got going over there? I don't know. This is kind of cool. They're just messing with the bot in there in the chat. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Blade to JP? I'm, I'm not sure. That's so sick. Uh, but um. Anyway. Yeah, dude. Anything. If we ever, any time, any time we get on the topics of Halo 2, I got you. Yeah, I'm good on Halo. I'm good on Halo 2. And that's fine. That's fine. Some point, I just have to do a whole podcast by myself. I'll just turn on the lights and just stare at the camera, 
It's like this Halo is Halo Halo one through four <laughs> in order. I wouldn't do four and be honest. Halo one through three. Yeah. An entire story breakdown. Oh dude. Line for line. Line for I can probably quote the entirety of Halo Two. Probably. The entirety. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I've I fucking watched the cutscene movie like every year at least once. Just it's hard not to, especially they're with really the, fucking with the, good with the anniversary. Dude. Oh, dude, I love the graphics for that. Yeah, yeah, so it looks good. really good. It's so, so good. sweet. But I honestly, they don't... could literally do that instead of the like uh, real film, whatever, whatever the movie that they made. Oh, Forward Unto Dawn. Yeah. Or um, Nightfall. They did two live action. Oh yeah, live action. That's Both what we're sucked for. ass. Oh yeah, they're pretty. No, they were subpar. Oh, they were I didn't terrible. like Forward Unto Dawn. <laughs> Forward Unto Dawn. That was the one that introduced Lasky, I think. Locked. No, that was that was Nightfall. What's Lasky? La- La- the Commander Lasky of the Infinity. In Halo Four, he's not the guy who like yells. He's like, give me. The, he's not the one that goes, oh, give me the AI. He's the other one that becomes the commander of the Infinity. So. I don't remember. That's fine. That's fine. I understand. I just keep thinking of the video game donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Halo <laughs> recap videos. <laughs> anyway, we probably can't say anything about that because that'd be like copyright or something, right? What? Quoting like one of his videos. No, oh, quoting, okay. yeah, you're good with that. I don't know, Adrian. I'm definitely doing a 28 hour stream of just explaining Halo lore. 100. percent I happening. will not be here for that. Actually, that that'll be a sub goal. <laughs> just get a certain amount of subs, and we'll fucking do it. I'll I'll fucking become a huge. I'll write a whole script and shit. A hundred. What? How many would you want to what? do something like that? Oh fuck! I'm just hypothetically. <laughs> I got to think about well, that. Well, let's let's put it out there. How much how many Oh fuck, man. How many followers or subs would it take for you to make a episode like that? Just you. How many how many subs? Like 25? No, more than that, dude. More that's than a, that? that's a big that's a big fucking like uh, the whole Halo lore and me sitting there writing a script for a fucking I don't know how long that be. That might be a 8-hour video. Dude, if we ever get to 25 viewers, you have to get a Mark Six helmet tattooed on you. I'm not getting a tattoo. Oh, that's I'm not a good, getting a that's tattoo. That's a good Dude, one. I, like that. I don't fuck with needles. Yeah, I don't. No one fucks with needles. <laughs> that's <laughs> untrue. People no. fuck with needles for some reason. Yeah, fucking yeah. I hate I needles, not, but I still got a tattoo. Twenty-five viewers about, is not worth a tattoo. Of are you a, kidding me? Or I'm what about followers? Or how does I don't know how this works. <laughs> followers. Viewer, yeah, fuck it. Viewers, we need more viewers. Kavika's getting a Mark Six. No, Halo you, that's not happening. Yes, it's hundred viewers. Only and look, we got a Mark Six and uh, the have, legendary symbol on have, fucking Kavika. Uh, I would. I have already. Said, oh my god, we got six views. If I'm gonna get, oh yeah, it's going we up. Can't they keep, know. We gotta pay attention. We gotta keep. They're <laughs> keep not. Going, no, no one's gonna watch a podcast that's like, oh, dude, we have six viewers and just watch it the whole time. This is viewer watch like podcast. It's gonna be like. Oh, dude, I'm going to tune into the stream. Oh, they said there's seven people. Oh, dude, get in here. They're about to say there's eight. (laughs) Tell your friends. Kavika's going to get a tattoo before this video is live. Before this video. Oh, dude. A hundred followers. I'm going to lay on the table. Just. ah. We can find an artist that would come We're not doing that. (laughs) I think 25 would be a pretty good benchmark. It'll be on your thigh or something, so you can hide it. Yeah, I'm you won't be able fucking, to see it. Uh, I forget right about my... Oh, no, you get a fucking Halo tramp stamp. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm not doing that. If you Just do the it, Halo, the three I'll symbol? You do it the with three. me? I'll do it with you. I'll get a tattoo. So then we have to get, like, two halves of, like, a Halo. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> Each cheek. Each cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down, dude. I, I am fucking down. Oh, my I fucking will, God. I will tattoo a Halo Not at, my Okay, ass. we have to get a realistic number. Oh, my God. Fucking Dude, 25, God. is that not a realistic number? No, that's a super low number. We could get that in, like, a month if we, like... <laughs> I don't I don't, I don't, don't know about that, but, all right. We could. We'll negotiate that. Once we get everything off screen. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll, <laughs> let, <laughs> we'll <laughs> let you know how, how that works out. Oh, my out. God, dude. And if we get an artist to do it live, if anyone knows anyone that would do it live, please hit us up in the comments. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's Daniel. That's Daniel. <laughs> Daniel's explaining like the logistics of the actual stuff. Oh, this is helpful for Tanner. Absolutely. Yeah, Tanner's learning. 
He's like, oh, okay. It messes with our algorithm. Okay. I like that. I'll get the monitor. <laughs> not on my, right on your ass. Not, not on my ass. Where are you going to get? I'll around put, your nipple? I'll put him on my butt cheek, though. <laughs> oh, I was going to say his I eye. I hate that character. Eye is your nipple. Oh, that's hilarious. No, no I hate I that can't, character, I too. I can't do that. I'll get a tramp stamp Dude, with him, a, though. Oh, God. No, I, should Honestly, I say this? Arbiter, I was just going to say, if it, boy, you, know how, you know how 343, like, shoots lasers? Uh, I fucking hate that character. No, no, no. Like, like, like if, a, if a girl got it tattooed around her nipple, she could shoot, like, and the viewers are about to go to zero. No, dude, they're about to go to twenty-five. <laughs> I'm just saying. I didn't. How's that gross? I didn't think I'd ever hear that. What? <laughs> now you yeah, have. That, was that was wasn't gross. Hilarious. What are you gonna do? You're hooking up with some chick. And she's getting she has a three four three monitor tattoo on her then, nipple. I'm like, here's a the, ring, bro. Here's a halo and ring. And the marathon. So I already know the so many. <laughs> <other one. laughs> I already know one person that would like it. Fucking Kavir, dude. Oh, he dude. would love that. Oh, hundred percent. Oh yeah, but yeah, Kavir <laughs> would be like, yes. Shoot your. All right. What's the question? What's up? <laughs> what's up? We're here. Who's that? I don't know. Oh, God. Thanks for joining the stream and asking questions. Waiting. What's the question? All I see is symbols. God, am I fucking blind? What's a hub move? Hub move? What's the question? He's Can we read? Yeah, uh, read, 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 the, read the question, no, you John. Read the question. Oh, I know the question. Do you guys know what that is? You know what he's actually saying. What's right? a hub move? No, that's not the important part of that okay. question. Read it out loud, John. If you're. If read you're it out loud. Go if your stepdad. Read it. If your stepdad's wife. Who is that? Pulling a. Who is your stepdad's wife? A hub, a porn hub move. Who is your stepdad's wife? Re- think about it. If your stepdad's wife. Who is that? That's your mom. That is your mother. We're smashing, right, John? <laughs> this is Hold it. Hold on. <laughs> Can I finish the fucking question? Yeah, finish the question. <laughs> Go ahead. If your stepdad's wife tried pulling a hub move. Yes. Would you smash? Yes. In a heartbeat. <laughs> what? Why would you say yes? Yeah. That's it's your... Mother's Day, dude. <laughs> oh, my fucking... It's Mother's Day. That's your actual mom. It's going down. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> oh, God. We're getting what pulled. We're realize. getting... This podcast is getting pulled, bro. It's about to be like uh, uh, Lonely Island. Mother's Day. <laughs> we can... Sw- can we get in trouble for this? No. That was a good question. That we could fuck question. each other. That was it. That was... Okay, that was like a... That was a trick question. <laughs> We need no, one more person to even it out, and then we can all, like, fuck each other's moms, right? Like the... God, dude. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> no, John. <laughs> no. What the fuck? No. You were down just a second ago. You were, you were down like, for we're, your s- own mom. we're smashing, and then you couldn't, now all you of a sudden we're not smashing. You couldn't handle my mom. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh my probably true. Oh, my God. What is it? This is even crazier than I thought the other put as good as you get. Oh, man. What I really wanted that question to be, though, was, like, if you had a hot stepmom. Yeah, I think everyone, like, was, yeah. I think that's. Yeah, yeah, that's, like, everyone's dream. Yeah, I mean, dude. Yeah, I guess. In a, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> like, God, so tight. <laughs> God, ever since your dad's been away. Oh just so he's just been on that time. business trip dude, for I, a long time. Do you think you could, like. Time. Like produce like a good point. <laughs> Wait, what? Not at all. Not like yourself. I'm just saying, oh. like as a director. Like, could you be all, like, what's what's the process? I mean, of, like, I, so what's I think the writer's watched, room in that? I think I've watched enough porn in my day that I I could definitely. So here's the thing, though. At yeah. least come up with a decent plot. Let's just say the three of us are involved. Plot. All right. So like, okay. I don't know if I'd ever be cool with letting you guys see me hump. In. You know what I mean? Just like you're gonna have that shitty grin on your face the whole time, <laughs> you know, and like you're gonna laugh, and then and I'm just not gonna be hard. It's not gonna work. It wouldn't. <laughs> this is weird. But I see, have to go home. But see, I, feel I don't like, like this anymore. I feel the same thing. I feel like we each feel like we could make a decent m- film, right? We could each I feel make like a decent video. I feel like yeah. everyone that has watched, but like 
in any amount of content then for what would years. Seen, what is your, like... I've seen John naked enough times. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't ever need to see that again. <laughs> right? And I've seen, I've seen it more times, I think, than, like, a good friend should see. <laughs> like, maybe once or twice, but, like, John, I could probably count on both hands. Damn. Like, like six. Holy shit. Like, it'd be, like, more than five, less than ten. Oh, okay. I just was trying to be dramatic with my increments. <laughs> you were like, <laughs> was like shit, anywhere is there... from zero to a hundred. I was like, like, for a second, I was like, shit, is there times that I do not remember? <laughs> I mean, there, uh, most of the times so, that I don't remember. So then what would be fucking wasted? But <laughs> Your ideal plot that you would make. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to go. In. No, 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 no. What? Is it I an idea know. you don't want stolen or something? Yeah, yeah. Let's um, go with, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. It's not for the podcast. Oh my god! It's something that I'm already cooking up. You literally, so this, no. you know what the podcast just had? It just had people <laughs> say they would fuck their own mothers. I think it's fine on the podcast. Really? Wait, no one in Is the chat. It was someone chat? on this podcast. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's chat's fault. Okay. Oh god. You won't even say the plot. All right, I like bro. this though. This is this, this is distracting, but I like it. <laughs> I agree, Adrian. Keep That's distracting, probably, Tanner. Keep, it keep the comments coming. <laughs> keep them rolling. <laughs> I like it. Uh, oh, dude. But yeah. How much? How much? If I was to make my own, yeah, I would cut as much of myself out as possible. Like it's the worst. That's fair. It's the worst part. What, what when if, you're watching? What if you then, were to direct one though? See, I don't know. I don't know. You're, you're not. You're not in front of the camera. I'm a, I'm a passionate guy. You know, I feel like I could. I could. You know. Sure. But like, you have two porn stars, and you're just like. You're the you're, no, make, this is you're making bum me out. Why is it gonna Why? bum me out? Other dudes nailing a hot chick. So I mean, I guess you get I, to tell them what to do. I that's guess, what that's yeah, what porn I mean, is. Let me. <laughs> do yeah. you not want if you're watching porn? That's exactly what it is. I want to be in it though. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I want to be. I want to be in it. Yeah, yeah, guys. I know I'm the director, but yeah, like, you you <laughs> you actually, actually got to yeah, get out of here. Take a hike. Yeah. Austin says thoughts on Roadhead. Oh. We actually had this conversation before the last podcast. Oh yeah, we did. Oh, I like, love Roadhead. <laughs> it's super distracting, though. It is super distracting. It's very dangerous. So, only try it never, but I try all the time. It's good. It's yeah. really good. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> it makes driving a lot more enjoyable in a lot of situations, but. Are you are you guys never like afraid? It also that, like, increases you're... the chances of wrecking. Like, I was gonna say, I, I almost wrecked. Like, n- never mind. <laughs> no, you can't. Never mind. Yeah, he can. you can't. Never mind. I, John... I almost wrecked my fucking car, like because of that shit. I mean, that's fair. I've definitely swerved a bunch. I'm just saying, are you guys never afraid of like getting your the... dick bit off? No. Hell just no. on accident. Hell no. Okay. Did it? Did anyone else have to pull over to finish? I definitely pulled had to, over. To, pull over to finish, I had to, I, dude. I had to pull over to finish. No, there was no. I, I could. There was no way. The first time, <laughs> the first time was driving back from the coast. Okay, like a two-hour drive. Oh yeah. fuck! Was it the majority of the drive? It wasn't. The, it was the whole drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just oh, the God, whole that'd be, time. That'd be fucking the, terrible. Like, it yeah, just that'd like be fucking there. awful. No, I mean it was like a good. It was a good like twenty, thirty minutes, but I don't think it was like the. It was just like a like a spontaneous kind of thing. Like it was just like we were having fun, right? Yeah, it's a great time. Um, we ended up pulling over to just have sex, basically. Sure. Right, like on the side of the road. Yeah, just, fair enough. So, I mean, you can't do that while you're driving. That's a lot more dangerous. <laughs> fucking, I feel, I feel trashy for saying that. Why, dude? Everyone does that. I mean, there's I don't see that many cars pulled over on the side of the road when I'm driving. Yeah, because you're driving, you're focused on the, like, you're focused on, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go this way. I don't know. I can guarantee you, I've definitely been pulled over on sides of roads. The the best part about Roadhead for me was... You guys might have passed me at some point. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the, no, because I know your truck, and I've never seen it. No, before, before then. In the, what, the canyon? No, Colorado? No. Maybe it was her car. Before, I used other people's car. Hey, Tanner, I need to borrow your car for, like, two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the coast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in two hours. Uh, I don't <laughs> no, no. The best part for me about it was other people on the road seeing it. That was that was the best. See, part. I was fucking terrified of people seeing it. I was oh, like, uh, I was like, hurry this up! Like, we gotta fucking, <laughs> we, gotta we gotta pass the semi. 
no, no. I was like slowing down Dan- for the semi. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, look at this shit. I gotta crack Can you believe this is happening right now? Yeah. I can't either. Like- Dan- Daniel says, how many followers until a hot tub stream? Oh. That's what the hot uh, new thing nine. is right now. Nine. How many followers do we have? 15? Uh, 16 followers. To no, go to shut the fuck up. up. <laughs> I want, I'll be. <laughs> Let's go to yeah, the hot tub do. right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm down for a hot tub stream. All right. Yeah, how do we do that? Uh, do you, you know, honestly, I would go just to do the meme of like, I'm going fully clothed. So, what do we need to. Of course, you would. Yep. You would put your Timberlands and jeans on again. One fucking hot and then tub. I'd buy new ones the next day. That's so fucking ridiculous. Dude. I would do that just because you guys are like, fucking take it off. Let's go swimming or something like that. But then I would I'd, do. I would just keep everything on. I didn't. I'd get one of those little floaty uh, cup holder things, and have my drink floating on the hot tub water. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds cool. Honestly. Yeah. I think a. You gotta press tub, the button. I oh, think a hot tub it. stream would be amazing. That's a great idea. I'll I'll just like, I'll just set up the uh, the stuff for it, and then just be super relaxed in a hot tub. That'd be amazing. That's fair. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> Tanner's filling up his water bottle. That's true, dude. What the fuck were we talking about before the hot tub stream? Oh, we were talking about Roadhead. No, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. How how close have you actually gotten to like fucking while you were driving and then you decided it wasn't it wasn't a good idea? Fuck yeah, it. It really is. What are you ta- Tanner? Tanner just said that <laughs> two thirds of our podcast. X-rated podcast. Our X rated podcast. Uh, I mean I guess we have we have uh, eight viewers. Nine viewers and <laughs> oh you get the tattoo. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Share it to a friend. Oh my goodness. Let's get that ninth viewer nah, dude, for the tattoo. Just, <laughs> that's just a ploy to be like, oh dude, I can see like a Kavika actually has not a shirt on or something. Yeah, you get a Godzilla tattoo on your calf. Yeah, that one's happening. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Maybe. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What? I was f- across the fucking room. What were you guys talking about? I wasn't really paying attention. Not, we were just talking about whatever, you know. Yeah, we were trying wrapping up the roadhead conversation. True, true. It's a podcast. It's like a step bro. What do you mean? That's a that's a st- What are you doing? <laughs> step What are you bro? doing, oh. step podcast? <laughs> this isn't your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing in here? <laughs> I swear to God, I thought I saw Sophie walk in. <laughs> I'm the, stuck in dog. the dryer step podcast. <laughs> yeah, my hand is stuck in the garbage disposal. Oh my goodness. I can't reach the top shelf in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, I'm destined to be a director, dude. <laughs> Those have to be <laughs> yeah, like super go. That's all I was trying to ask, like what the writer's room looks like in that. They're just like Probably pretty awesome, right? I mean, I'm sure there's just a lot. I'm sure there's like someone sitting in the back, fucking throwing, throwing a, like a ball up and down. It's just like laundromat or some shit like that. It's just like I can see it now in my head. Dishwashers broken. <laughs> yeah, dishwashers dishwashers yeah. broken. The plumber's coming in. No, that's been done. The plumber's been too many, too many times. Dude, I've been in that situation. I haven't. I didn't like fuck, but. I've been in that situation, like, uh, like an older woman definitely came on to me while I was, like, fixing her pipes. Or fixing her, like, Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah th- that shit is, like, real. <laughs> you, dude, you know who I really, like, legitimately thought I had a, had a. Who you legitimately, uh, like, had a shot with, or, like, what, what do you, what do you. Uh, it was someone's, it was, a, it was my chick's mom. Oh God. Way back in the day. Way back in the day. Yeah, I definitely thought I had like a legitimate shot with the not like, okay, not like I didn't think I had like legitimately have a shot, but like, like a Stacy's mom situation. Got yeah, go kind of, yeah, exactly. It was uh, just weird because yeah. like I'd be on the couch and I'd just come sit down and then was like would like tickle me. And I was like, oh stop, <laughs> please stop, you know. But I was also like fourteen, so I had no fucking clue, you know. Yeah, and I felt really bad. The dad was like the guy you play as in Call of Duty, basically. Oh, <laughs> you know, like he was like a fucking marine. He's basically like your character, just yeah. gnarly. Yeah. And I was like, oh my 
my God, this is so bad, but why does it feel so good, right? I mean, like, <laughs> this is, oh, oh, man. I haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> I can't say who, though. I'm sure you know. All right, so question. Do you believe in ghosts or using tech to talk to the dead? Do you, yeah, do you get, uh, we went over like haunted places, but we never actually went over if we actually like believed in ghosts. Um, what, if we, what if we took our idea of staying in a haunted hotel yeah. for a night and we brought the podcast oh, we're doing to it. that? Well, well, that's happening. What do you need for that? Just Wi Fi? Well, a, we, the, way, of the way we would do it differently is we would, we would just, we, it would be a different format, it wouldn't be like regular podcast style. Be a different format. Okay, this is serious, a hundred percent serious. A hundred followers, and we will do a podcast from a haunted place. Oh, that's yeah, easy, easy, easy. Uh, how many? We're at fifteen followers, sixteen followers, and I'll go in by myself. Whoa! I don't give. Yeah, I'm down. But that, okay, then you're gonna have to like vlog yourself the whole time. Oh, that's lame. You guys have to go with me. You just said you would do it by yourself. Whatever, I'll be on camera, but you have to record me, though. Tanner was like, wait a second, there's ghosts in there. You guys have to come with me now. He's like, hold on, it's haunted. Peace out. Uh, No, dude, that would definitely be fun, though. I I feel like we can't bring that into... No, 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 we can't. Fuck yeah, we can. I would fucking do it. I would just be like, yeah, where's my room? And then fucking pack all that shit in there. All right, yeah, I get it. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. All right, I'm down. I can barge into the room like, hey... We heard you guys had a soundboard in here. <laughs> you guys can't have that. Dude. Get it out. I'm gonna look up how much how much that is. Well, how much what? How just much a just night? Stay in that hotel. You think they're even open right now? They have to be. I hope so. Well, I mean, I guess they don't have to be. But I don't remember how to spell it. I don't know either. Um, but we, should we answer the question though? Oh yeah. Do, you, do yeah. you guys actually believe in ghosts? But if for the, for the first question. Um. Yeah, I don't know if it's like. Like a, as like a, not as like a ghostly, I like the energy of somebody like being there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you can kind of feel their presence. Presence, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, not mm-hmm. as like a, not like a Hollywood movie where there's like some crazy ass demon walking around your house and that fucking comes out underneath your bed, right? Yeah. But yeah. Like, <clears throat> I've never. Yeah, as like an, en- en- as like, a, as <clears throat> like an aura or like an energy, right? I mean, I feel like that's kind of how. Well, there's definitely been some weird stuff that happened in this house, like right here. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Fuck me, there right? Was, it was a TV. <sighs> God damn it. Yeah, one night. Starts floating. <clears throat> <laughs> Guys? <laughs> I just remember one night, because I used to be, when I was a kid, I used to fucking hate coming downstairs. Like, you know when you turn off the light? And you, oh, run, yeah. and you run up the stairs as yeah. fast as you can? Yeah, yeah, I did that so many times, but like... I would hate, and at one, I used to sleepwalk, I guess, when I was a kid, yeah, and my mom, my mom, like, heard me get out of my bed, and, like, <clears throat> walk in the pitch darkness all the way down the stairs, and then, like, down here, and just standing in the middle of the living room, just staring, and she was just like, Kavika, go to bed, and then I was like, and I went back to bed, like, that, that was just weird. Yeah, that's, I, I don't, that's not like supernatural shit, but that was just that like a weird thing. Really that creepy. That's that's a that's a one thing that's scary about kids too. Like yeah, your kid would do something weird like that. I don't know what I would do. I'd be like, well, they're like, more, I'm just leaving them. <laughs> especially if my kid had like long hair like you, and they were just like standing. Oh yeah. There well, when I was a kid, with I had the short hair, hair draped down like oh, fuck that. Some oh fuck that dude. Yeah. When I was a kid, I had short hair. Granted, but and I would. Or if I got in the middle of the n- got up in the middle <coughs> of the night to like get a snack and my house is dark and the kid came my out. kids just like out in the living room and, and in the darkness shit. I'd be like what in the <laughs> fuck like yeah you turn oh, the fucking fuck. light on that shit would fuck me up yeah but like oh. we're, the weird thing that happened was one night I remember uh, we just heard like noises coming from down here and like we turned everything everything was off down here and stuff like that so then that one night. We just heard noises coming from down here, so then we went, came downstairs, and like the TV that was right here before it, but it was just on. Here, I don't. Was it plugged it. in? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I don't remember if it was. I, it probably was, but like it, it just turned on by itself. We didn't yeah, know I just why. wanted to ma- make sure that it was actually plugged in. And, oh like, yeah, that's an actual. Cause if it wasn't plugged in, that would be like a totally different story. Yeah, like, I didn't even. What the fuck? Yeah, that one definitely would have been like, all right, it's haunted, like yeah. straight up. Hold on. Are you looking at the... Oh, yeah. So here's here's kind of 
we'll get back to this, but so I saw the first first thing is two queen beds with detached bathroom. I figured that's fine. Of course. Whatever. And then detached there's, bathroom. There's one. So that means we have to walk somewhere else to go to the bathroom. Like it's it's not gonna be like it'll probably be around the corner. I don't know, actually, whatever. Fuck that. Yeah. I don't know. But then I just saw one for yeah. one queen bed, and I was like, nice. That'd be Everybody. Good. That'd be good for Everyone four. in one pot. One, ev- <laughs> so we have the podcast in the bed. But what's Everyone's good? holding the mics <laughs> like this, laying down. But no, we'll, we, should do the, we should do the one king bed. Oh, <laughs> not the queen? We <laughs> just one king bed. It is comfortable, refreshing accommodation with authentic rustic touches. All right. I'm in. How oh, many? Oh, Who's going? No, no, no. One queen bed with detachable jacuzzi tub. Of course. And then oh. you could do, we could kill two birds, one two stone. Two birds, one stone. Haunted Jacuzzi fucking podcast. With, with haunted, yeah. Haunted, you already said haunted. I don't haunted know why Jacuzzi haunted. podcast. Let's say. A hundred follows and we oh can do the God. haunted. Let's say, let's say like July. Why can't we? No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> let's say like July 9th or 16th, maybe we check in. And then we'll check out the next day. Yeah. Tanner's July. like booking the Number trip already. one. Dude, we're doing it, Austin. Awesome. Plus four. <laughs> so who's going? Who's going? I don't know. I'm just Anyone saying. that's willing to I go, to I go, feel like because yeah. I have the equipment. <clears throat> I'm, it's, I'll, I'll, I'm two. in. Tanner's in. I know John's in. So that's three people. Oh my god, it's eighty-four dollars. That's not and bad. We got cable TV. Oh, perfect. Those ghosts love cable. Oh wait, is this? I feel I like. Tell you from should we leave? <laughs> In that kind of a situation, should we leave the TV on to see if it gets fucked with during the podcast? No, like, turn it off. Turn it off? Yeah. To see if it gets turned on? Yeah. Oh. That, that's the way to do it. Yeah. No, honestly, I think the best way to do it. Let's should we leave a chair it. in the middle of the room just the to see if it gets like, fucked like, with? Yeah. Well, well the best way to do it is like in the middle of the night. Okay, someone go to the bathroom. How much is and that? then oh, they have fuck. to walk, and then they have to do stuff. No, fuck you. I'm waking you guys up. Someone's coming with me. <laughs> Buddy system? Oh, God. Wait. May 2023. Wow. That's way too far. Hold on. No wonder it's so cheap. I oh. booked two years in advance. Oh <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm picking everyone up from SeaTac. Are we getting eight people to go to this fucking place? The people who are, like, renting out this one room with one king bed is going to be like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm trying to see we're just, lugging, don't have an we're just lugging all this equipment into this room. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to... I'm just going to say four again. Yeah. No, I turn it to eight because apparently. <laughs> okay, hold on. Second, the second part of the question: Do you guys believe in technology when talking to the dead? Like, what do you mean? There's like technology that helps us talk to the dead. There's a really good like e- those talk boxes. Oh, the yeah. EKG. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's the? What's the YouTube channel where it's the? It's the. It's the two guys. That oh, and the one guy who's just like, I don't give a I fuck. I fucking hate ghosts. Yeah. And the other guy gets super stressed out. Yeah, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. I, I love those guys. I love those videos. I like the one where they go in the house and they put the flashlight on the, on the, the counter. The, yeah. And they're like. And then it starts rolling. If, if you're, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they start. We've, there. we've watched that. And then we he, were watching that like, at your house. If you're, if you're here. He's like laying on the ground. Turn off the light. And then it turns off the light. And we're, they're like, oh, <laughs> fuck. And then he goes downstairs <laughs> and lays <laughs> on the pentagram. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I need a witch's broom. <laughs> three lizard tongues. A newt. <laughs> one crow's beak. Oh, yeah. Does anyone have a pot? We could definitely no. do one of those episodes. I hate the the box. That's just like, and then it's like, oh, I'm killing you, or something <laughs> like that. Like, yeah, like, that's such a fucking no. Fuck that. It's fuck that thing. I do not think that that is the right just, method to. I mean, that's communicate. F- that's fair. Like, if you just heard static in a thing, and then someone told you, like, put subtitles under something, you'd be like, okay, I can hear it. But that's only because there's subtitles there. Yeah, yeah. No, I like, if you just you heard, don't... you'd be like, there's nothing. There's fucking there's nothing, nothing there. There's just static noise, and then subtitles underneath the static noise. Like, yeah. It's Andrew. <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, no, fuck that. Um, what else do they use? Uh, they use the box. They, they use, use a. Uh, they it's use like a talk box thing. Too. They yeah. They use uh, well, infrared for like heat signatures. Yeah. And then and then it's like a medium. They always have like a medium there that they claim can. It comes in like and spray can shit feel everywhere. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like the the presence mm-hmm. if it's like an angry presence or peaceful or something, something yeah stupid like that. But yeah, I don't know. I forgot what else the equipment that they use. 
I think that's really it, honestly. Yeah. Pretty much. And then they just stake it out and they just like try and talk with it and like Yeah, they just stay around and like say shit. Yeah, they're like provoke hey, the ghost. What's what's your name? And how old are you? <laughs> Did you used to live here? I feel like they're asking all the wrong questions. Yeah. Right? Like I mean, those are boring ass questions to ask a ghost. I mean, yeah. But I guess I don't know what the fuck you would want to ask one. How much ass did you use to pull here? I mean, that's... Yeah. How much ass have you seen here? <laughs> this goes from, like, the 1700s. It's like... A lot. All of it. This, <laughs> this actually used to be a brothel. Oh, shit! I'm in the wrong time. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Yeah. My house used to be a brothel? Yeah, you're right. Tight. They do... They just ask the same questions every single episode. Tight. Fuck that. Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I... I'd be down to when go it, sleep in a haunted hotel, though. Yeah. It just has, we have to. Well, we've been talking about this for a minute, so. Well, I guess. I think yeah. we've been down for a while. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. I don't know about bringing all this. Maybe we just record ourselves and our little adventure. Yeah, dude, th- yeah, the guys making the ghost hunting equipment, they're making bang. Just like. Oh, they, yeah. They're like, hey, let's make this machine that just picks up random signals and makes <laughs> really loud noise, right? <laughs> Yeah. Genius. Yeah. And then it's like, all right, we're going to make an infrared machine that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> that like doesn't, yeah, <laughs> not always accurate. <laughs> just make a machine with, like, probes that just, like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's <laughs> the one with the little... Yeah. I, I, like, the I fucking no- nodes on the end. Yeah. Like, and it crosses over. Well, th- <sighs> no, that's, like, that's, like, a... That's, like, for... What, don't they use that to, like, figure out where water runs or something, too? Those, like, fucking rods that are, like, L's. I don't know. I don't know. I was, I'm not a water seeker. I definitely think like that. Water you go outside. Like a water finder. Like yeah. I'm looking for a well. Yeah, I don't need to <laughs> dig a well anytime soon. I'm trying to dig a well in my backyard. <laughs> that fucking sucks. Hey, Peter. <laughs> Have <laughs> you seen the well? That was a pretty good impression. Um, shit. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, we need to set that up. Apparently. Yeah. I think it would be fun. Like, it would be genuinely, I like, go to fun. Like, it's in I, I, I want to go to, like, one of those things, but I also want to go to, like, one of those abandoned places where, like, I don't it's, like, it, haunted. I don't think there's anything like that I around know. here, though. I know. But I feel like that would be more exciting or intense. How far is Port Townsend from here? Port Townsend? Mm-hmm. Fuck, I was just, I was there, like, a little bit ago. I feel like it's not that far. Probably like an hour. I mean, what are we gonna do? Like hypothetically, like if we checked in at like, yeah, four o'clock, right? What the fuck are we gonna do? Just sit in a hotel room and just like just quiet and listen? Yeah. No, no we I'm should. Gonna, we should do we a be podcast. Be doing a podcast. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna drink some claws <laughs> on the podcast. Dude, the people yeah. are going waiting to for some ghosties to arrive. Yeah, dude, we can't do this late at night. Yeah. It'd be too loud. Yeah. No, it wouldn't. Dude, yeah, it's a, it's, it's literally loud. like a tourist place. I've been banging in a fucking hotel before, and it is way louder than we are on a podcast. That's different. Right. It's not. This isn't in a this, hotel. In this, this old is ass a, hotel this is old versus ass the La Quinta down the street from your <laughs> house. <laughs> if it's an old building with thin ass walls and shit. Ah, uh, yeah. And like people paid to like be there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like <laughs> to people, get haunted, they don't want to hear. <laughs> people aren't like. Did that? Just John cranking it in the next room. <laughs> oh. That reminds me of that episode of Family Guy where him and Brian are on the road and they, they check into that hotel. I know how to put an end to this. <laughs> He's wearing a wire. What? <laughs> I don't remember that episode. I don't either. Where was, was that one of the newer ones? Or? No, it was like one of the older ones oh. where this, Stewie and Brian are going to like find oh, shit. find his mom or something like that. Oh, oh, I think I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they end up staying in a hotel. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Stewie can't sleep because there's like a drug deal or going something on, going on like, in the right, next yeah, room. a bust. I know how to put an end to this. <laughs> He's wearing a wire. Oh, yeah, and then they like shoot through the yeah, wall. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, we'd be like, can we get the room like, all the way across a bit. Like, what other rooms are, like, taken right now? I yeah, we can, just, can we just take the one all the way over there? Like, hey, look, I know we booked our room online, but, like, 
What's the creepiest room you have? We want that one. They have that. I'm really? Sure. They do. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's thing. a thing that yeah, you can you, ask. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Oh shit. And I'm down. I'm down. I'd be down to go like two for two. Mm-hmm. Like if we if we like split a room, right? Yeah. And then maybe we do some crazy shit where we like move around at the like middle of the night. Like one person switches, you know, and has to like walk around or something. Mm-hmm. God, that'd be tight. Take a lap around the hotel or something. Yeah. I don't know. Record our experiences. Yeah. Or if we'd like switch rooms, go to at like three. Is in the morning, it, is it three in the morning is like supposed to be like the haunting hour or something where I don't know spirits are most active. Oh, I never heard. I never heard about. I wonder why that. I think, it, I think it's three thirty three. All the fucking they look at their watches, their ghost watches, and go oh, three o'clock. Time to go to work. Trying to scare some shit. <laughs> the shit You're out. You're like somebody. walking by where a ghost usually is, and the ghost is like, no, too soon. Not yet. Not yet. Not the haunting it's hour. Not three. <laughs> oh boy, three a.m. Yeah, Boo! <laughs> <laughs> I, I dare you to come back in two hours. I fucking, I'll scare yeah. the shit out of you. Come back. He's clocking in. He passes the next ghost. He's like, "See you later, Frank." As <laughs> <laughs> they just like float down the hall. And... <laughs> I'll have to talk to my mom about it again. But yeah, I'm down to go, dude. That'd be fun. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I agree. I can't really think of any crazy other cra- any other places close by that are like that. Probably, probably you know what cheap we, too, we so. probably have up here is like haunted forest or some shit like that. Some haunted like yeah, stuff in the I, woods. I could see that. Yeah. Well, I went uh, after I graduated from high school. I went on a backpacking trip into like the Olympic Peninsula, and it was it was pretty eerie, dude. Honestly, like it's spooky because we got to like we parked we we hiked in at night because he waited for me to get off of work. Yeah. And we drove out there, and we didn't start hiking till like, 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. And, like, it was crazy because we, like, the car lights were on where we parked. And, like, the, the dome lights and all that. And then there was, like, one street light mm-hmm. that, like, lit up the camping parking lot rules. And, like, rules for camping or whatever. And then, like, it was it was crazy once he turned his car off how dark it was. Yeah. And then, like, all it was was just stars. There was no one else around. It was dead silent, just the two of us. Mm-hmm. And we went hiking into... Pitch black. The darkness, dude. Yeah. It was whack. It was crazy. And after, like, an hour, like, you could just start to hear the ocean. Yeah. And it was, like, you would have walked right into the ocean and it, had you not been able to hear it, right? Yeah. I mean, like, it was, it was crazy. Fucking dark as No shit. light. Yeah, you couldn't see anything. Um but it was really cool. The next morning, we made a tent somehow, and we slept in this tent. And it was crazy. The next morning, opening up the tent, and then just, like, the ocean was six feet away. Yeah. You know, we were just on some, like, bluff, and the ocean was right there, dude. It was really cool. Super cool experience. But I could totally see some spooky Indian reservation stories. Yeah. Or, you know, some crazy stuff happening out there. hmm I went... That place we went shooting. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I went with another buddy years ago, and we would like we'd go up close to that same spot, and then we'd take like a logging road. I agree, Adrian. And we'd go walk around. What did he say? He said the ocean scares the shit out of me. Oh yeah, the ocean's fucking terrifying, dude. I, yeah. Oh, fuck that. But um, we like came across some weird shrine in the middle of the forest. Oh really? Super scary. Super like what kind of sh- like? It was weird. Like rocks were built, and there was like shit hanging from the trees. Oh fuck! Just, like weird Some stuff. Blair Witch type hanging shit. from the trees. Kind of. Yeah, I don't know if it was. But that. like, I've never seen that movie. But like, probably kind of. Yeah. Right. Like you. Like you know, somebody else has been here, mm-hmm. like moving stuff around, and like making little weird. Yeah. Like somebody was there. It was fucking weird, man. I think there was like a like a dead deer or something. What, just right there with the shrine. Fuck like a sacrifice, Jesus. I mean, like fuck it, that. Yeah, it, I'm out. It, it it looked like like it was pretty far gone. Like it had probably been there for like a month. Regardless, or two. Dude. yeah, regardless. Like, I'm I mean, fucking it was, out. It had been a while. Like the like, deer god is coming for somebody there. Like we yeah we stumbled upon it somehow, dude. It was it was spooky, but it was it was it was like an eerie feeling. Cause <clears> like you know like in scary movies, like a lot of the stuff happens in the dark because yeah. you can't really see. And, like, you, you kind of know what's going to happen when you go down the stairs mm-hmm. into the pitch black. Like, you know it's waiting for you to just, like, yeah. you're going to get 
the movie is going to set you up for that, right? But it was like very. I remember feeling something very similar to like that suspenseful feeling when you were like watching the movie, where you're just like, dude, don't do it, yeah, right. And I, but I remember feeling that, but it was like two o'clock in the afternoon, and it was like sunny out, mm-hmm. and it was just like this. I felt like, oh, dude, yeah, it was weird. It felt like there was like people that were gonna come like drop down from the trees or something. Fuck. You know what I mean? It was fucking whack. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. But Yeah, that movie Hereditary. Dude, I we didn't even we turned that on that one night and then I was not expecting that girl to get her fucking head just knocked the fuck off. <clears throat> Like, at the beginning, I was like, that little girl's gonna, like, survive or something. Yeah, dude, that movie's fucking gnarly. Yeah. It was, yeah. I still can't believe Nakoa's in it. That's so sick. For, yeah. Way to go, Nakoa. He would have had a bigger to part, go. too. He'll get bigger parts, dude, in the future, oh, yeah. don't worry. yeah, Wait, he was actually in it? Yeah. He was supposed to actually be, like, one of the characters that talks. Uh-huh. Yeah, he was gonna be, like, one of them. He was gonna be, like, one of the main characters. <clears throat> he was gonna be, like, one of his high school friends or something like that. That was, like, like under the bleachers mate. or something. Yeah. That smoked with him or something like that. I think so, yeah. 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 And he was had like a, a line or two. Yeah. And that was it. But like, hey uh, man, but you okay? Yeah. That's <laughs> so sick. You doing all right? Oh my god, Nicole, you're so fucking cool. That's such great acting. You were in a movie. <laughs> yeah. But that but uh, he was he's now just like a character that like like sh- like a backpack dude and he walks or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he walks past the camera. You don't see his face. Yeah. But yeah. my my like um my dad's uncle, like, was in movies. Like, he was in a couple Bruce Lee movies. Oh, that's really cool. You can just straight up see him and, like, doing some shit. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. I just thought of that, like, because people we know are fucking in a movie. Yeah. Dude, that would be... Oh. You guys could have been in that in the Borat movie. <laughs> Dude, that was right... Well, was yeah, right that was there. right by our houses. Like, we totally oh, could yeah, have driven right. past. Oh, man, could you imagine if he showed up to, like, my dad's house? Oh, my goodness. Wawa Wiwa. <laughs> I need a place to stay. Could you imagine, like, my dad answering the door, like, what the fuck? And then, <laughs> and then me come out, like, of my room. <laughs> oh, shit, that's boring. Dude, yeah, come here. Come on, come on. No, get this guy out of here. No, fuck you, dad. He's staying here. <laughs> Where's Azamad? <laughs> He's a chair. <laughs> He's a chair. In the beginning of the movie, they turned him into a chair. <laughs> Sure. I haven't even seen that movie in entirety either. I need to watch that. I need to finish oh, that, that movie was fucking, it was fucking nuts. That movie was pretty good. It was the first, I think, 45 minutes or 30 minutes or so of watching that movie was really cringy. I was... Oh, mm. dude. A lot of the parts in there, I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, fuck that. I still think it was a good movie. I love that movie. <laughs> it was a good movie. It's fucking hilarious. I wish we would have known when that was happening, you know? It yeah. would have been really funny to, like... Could you imagine if we just, like... Pulled up on it? If we just rode past, like, on the Zuma. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> naked. Just... <laughs> me, me. They just <laughs> decided to include that in the movie. <laughs> yeah, or something just cool, crazy, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, that'd be funny. Something. They'd something. probably be like, what the fuck kind of area did we just stumble upon? <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh. Or they'd be like, yeah, let's go with that guy. <laughs> they probably would have been like, wait, on. stop, stop. Oh, yeah. Could you be like our be scene like... from Reno 911? <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh, that'd be funny. Well, I think that was a pretty, pretty good uh, point to stop. So. Fair enough. All right. Thanks for coming over, guys, and recording episode four. Heck yeah. So. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for anyone watching. Getting this far in the video. Yeah. And uh, if you've made it this far, follow, like. Kavika's getting a tattoo. Thanks for all the comments. All right, we're signing off. Seriously, like, we're getting Kavika a tattoo. Yeah.